This is Watch Your Style. My name's Eric. Today's review is on the Cartier Calibre Diver. So as far as Cartier watches for men's goals in the last five years, the Diver is that one piece that caught really my attention. Don't get me wrong, the Santos 100 XL, both standard and the Chrono, is also a very nice watch, and I tend to like that model a lot. But, you know, the, the Cartiers, just for me, they, they get a little boring for me. A lot of women's models, if you get what I'm saying. But when the Diver came out, not to mention this, the standard Calibre is a nice model, but the Diver kind of gave it that touch with that ceramic bezel. It's that one model that really caught my attention. When I saw it, I said, M, it's about time. You know, it's about time Cartier steps it up and gets a watch that can compete in the watch market and be very aggressive, you know. Uh, like I said, most of them are very traditional, dainty, traditional looking models. But the Diver's a watch that stands out. Right off the bat, I love the combination of rose and blue. Anytime you put rose and blue together, it's a winner. But overall, this two-tone version on the strap, very nice. Got a good looking rubber strap. Doesn't have too high of a retail. It retails for about uh, 10,000 and some change. So, you know, I think it's pretty much a good looking watch at a good price. Cartier is one of those brands that when you buy it, you gotta get a good discount because second you drive it off the lot like a Cadillac, you're losing a bunch of money. But if you get the right model at the right price, it's definitely a nice watch. So at 42 millimeters the case, it feels a bit bigger to me. When you put it on, it almost wears a little bit close to a 44 but the specs say 42. Now, if you're looking to get a watch that you wanna maybe wear daily, I know it is an expensive watch, and yes, it could be your only dress watch to come out, but remember guys, I get a lot of emails and people talking to me in comments because they hear me talk about this watch game thing, and then they get offended because I'm talking about a $10,000 watch, and they see me throwing it around like if it's not. Listen guys, this doesn't apply to you. This applies to the people that are real serious in the watch game. The collectors that have anywhere from five to 50 watches and on. So understand that when I'm talking about the watch game, it doesn't necessarily mean you. It could mean to the heavy players in the watch game. Some of you guys are not just that into watches. Maybe you're just flirting the idea of getting a watch. So just keep that in mind because I will go over this model and the watch game. Back to what I was saying. It's a good looking watch at a good price. So if you're looking to get a watch, maybe, you know, I blew out one of these, I remember not too long ago. It, the black version with the DLC coating, which is actually very nice. That's actually one of my favorite ones. It's pretty much stainless steel with the rose gold. Same setup as this, except the steel has a DLC coating. Looked really nice. I blew it out at a price of about $5,500. They almost knocked down the door to get the watch. Swear to God, it was like, it actually became more of a problem because the price was so good that I didn't know where I was gonna pull another one from. But the idea is if you're gonna buy a Cartier, is to get it at a good price. So the Cartier Calibre Diver goes down to a 300 meters, 1,000 feet. I wouldn't be caught in 30 feet of water with this watch. But anyways, you know, like any other watch nowadays that's meant for something and none of us really use it for that. It's a dive watch. Good looking watch, man. Like the ceramic bezel, like the strap. Very comfortable. It's a very good looking watch. If you're trying to get something, maybe, you know, Cartier is kind of like a cult following, man. I got guys that come in, especially some Europeans, they only want a Cartier. Don't ask me why, but that's what they want. They don't want Rolex, they don't want Patek, they don't want anything else. So if you're looking on getting perhaps a Cartier that's gonna be a modern model, this is one you wanna look at. They also offer it with a stainless steel bracelet, which is really nice as well. For me personally, I'll take the black or the blue. Either one will make me happy. I think they're both equally nice and balanced. As far as the watch game goes, it's in the entry level for watches. Unless you get this one in solid rose gold, you're kinda gonna be in an entry level watch level. It's nice, good looking, can't go wrong. But remember what I'm telling you, do not pay full retail. You're gonna wanna pay somewhere in the area of max 7,500 for a watch like this. If you like this video, please like and share. Also, remember to subscribe to our channel. My name is Eric, watch your style.